Okay, so we have MongoDB installed and we have our test databases. Now we need a way to actually interact with our DBs, all right? So what I need you to do is open up your terminal or your command prompt if you're on Windows and let's install the package we are going to use for this, all right? So we are simply going to say pip3. Again, if you only have one version of Python, then it's pip, all right? So pip3 install and you want to install this package called pymongo, all right? So this is the package we're going to be using to interact with our database. So hit enter to install this. I already have it, so I will cancel, all right? But you don't have it, so install that one, all right? And after we have this one, we are officially ready to start working, all right? So what I'll do is I'll change to the directory we use, all right? And let's open up our code editors here and start coding. All right, so we're back in Visual Studio Code here, all right? And to use our data, we have to prepare it first. And my structure for this one is something like this, all right? So this is what we are going to prepare our data to, all right? We want our data to have structure like this, all right? So what we're going to do is import our PyMongo. But first, let's import an odd object, all right? So from collections, we want to import ordered object, all right? And by the way, if you are using a version of Python uh, greater than 3.5, then you can just use a normal dictionary here, all right? Because we just want this ordered object because we want our records to be ordered as we get them, all right? So after this, let's import actually let's simply say oops from pymongo right we want to import this class called mongo client like this all right so now let's go down here and test this out so first things first with pymongo you have to make a client to your mongo db instance which is running all right so we are going to say our client is equal to mongo client like that and now we have successfully connected to our mongo db instance all right and now we can simply say db which is the database all right it's going to be client dot silver pos which is the database we installed to our mongo service great now let's start with stocks actually let's start with users all right so users is going to be db dot users all right users is a collection in our silver pos database okay so that's done now let's simply say for user in users dot find all right so find returns everything that is in the user's collection if we don't pass in parameters in here, all right? So it would find, and we simply want to say print user. Mm, let's just print user first name, all right? So first underscore name, I believe. Control S to save this. Now let's go down here and run it. So Python 3, and it's going to be admin.py run it and we have an error so we should say python3 admin slash admin to pile like that okay so this is loaded now let's close this go back here and check for our users all right so we are officially connected we get all of the first names all right so now we're connected to our database, we can start extracting information, all right? So the first thing we are going to do is create our list, okay? Which is going to be this, all right? So we're simply going to say underscore users like this is equal to an order dict, all right? Then we simply want to say first underscore names 
is equal to an empty list, all right? Then last underscore names is again an empty list. Then user underscore names is an empty list again. And what else do we have? We have passwords. So passwords is an empty list. And finally, we have designation, I believe. Designations is an empty list again. All right. So now that that is done, we can simply remove this print statement and simply say first underscore names dot append and we want to append the first names all right and we are simply going to copy all of this paste it down here a few times all right change this to last last names change this to last change this to user names Usernames, all right, and finally change this to username, then change this to passwords, change this to password again, and finally change this to designations and this to designation. All right, control S to save this. Let's now print, uh, let's now print designations. All right, I want to see if everything checked out. So control S to save this, go down here, let's run it. Close this. And we get these, all right. So we are going to stop here for this one. We now have our information. All we have to do is structure it correctly. All right. So any questions, comments, leave them down below. Otherwise, I'll check you in the next one.